Good evening. My name is Mike Dover, and I'm a candidate for the Ward 2 seat for Oklahoma City Council. Uh, the seat is currently held by Dr. Ed Shadid, and Dr. Shadid is not running again. Now, uh, the election is not until February, so after you guys get all involved in all these wonderful candidates' campaign for the election in November, then you can call me and see what you can help in my campaign for city council. I'd really appreciate it. Um, um, a little bit about myself background. Um, I retired um, about seven years ago after serving 29 years as the executive director of Variety Health Center. Uh, Variety is a health clinic, community health center that provide comprehensive health services um, to, uh, to folks, uh, whether for primarily the underinsured and uninsured. Um, after I retired, I became active in the volunteer world. Uh, currently, I sit as a volunteer on the MAPS uh, 3 Citizens Advisory Board, and I serve as a volunteer on the Oklahoma City MAPS Bond Advisory Board. Um, I also am a volunteer board member for New View, Oklahoma. Um, my interest in, in being here tonight um, is it, 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 partly personal. Uh, I am co-guardian uh, uh, with my wife of her brother, um, who is on is receiving waiver services. Uh, has been on the way on that program for about 20 years. John is is about 60 years, a little early 60s, um, and he lives in a home uh, with a couple of other disabled guys that are also receiving these services. One of the things that I so vividly remember, um, John's mother uh, died about 20 years ago, but I, I so remember is watching uh, my mother-in-law uh, as she learned about uh, uh, how to get John the services that he was going to require uh, as she became older and could no longer provide. Um, um, he, he was on that list for about 20 years. Um, and, and, and she was told, and, and, and I wish a DHS worker had never told her this, but she was told that in effect that the way you get, you get to receive these services is when someone dies. And I still remember a conversation I had with her and how guilty she felt about thinking uh, I, I, about that's how her son was going to be taken care of. And it was just heart-wrenching watching her go through that. Um, one of the things that I'm concerned about, and, and I, again, I serve on New View Oklahoma uh, board, which is an organization that serves uh, the blind and visually impaired. Um, my pet peeve has to do with public transit and the lack of bus stops and the lack of bus shelters that folks who travel across our city when they, because they usually don't have uh, other alternatives to travel, they, they use public transit. And, and, and I, for years, have driven through the city and watched people, um, um, and usually, let's face it, the folks, who, the folks who generally ride public transit, because we're not talking about the cute, fancy street park folks, we're talking about buses, the public transit system we get around, uh, usually wait for up to an hour for a bus, they're usually waiting in a bench, and whether it's 110 degrees and the sun is baking on them, or, or 20 degrees and freezing rain, uh, they're sitting there waiting for, 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 for a bus on a bus bench. Um, I, I serve, again, as serving on the MAPS 3 uh, advisory board, I would tell you how proud the people are who have uh, served on the committee that has built the streetcar downtown, that for about $127 million, provide streetcar services for a little less than six miles in the downtown area. And the longest that someone will wait for a streetcar when they're in downtown Oklahoma City, again, to get around, to just be around downtown, midtown, and bricktown is 14 minutes. And while they're waiting in those 14 minutes for that next streetcar, they're sitting on a bench covered in this beautiful, wonderful bus shelter. Uh, one of the things that I pledge to do uh, if elected to the city council is to be an outspoken um, uh, advocate for doing more that we, than we have been doing to make not only finding more, but more bus, bus, bus routes so folks aren't waiting as long, but for the least that we can do is make that bus wait a little bit more comfortable than it is. And that's, that's one of the things I feel so strongly about.